So we've got on from Anthony in Edinburgh. Could there be a deal where Scotland and Northern Ireland stay part of a single market? They voted to remain, after mm-hmm. all. Um, in principle, you could have that kind of deal. And certainly the withdrawal agreement has Northern Ireland staying in the single market in the backstop case. The difficulty, right, and this is going to be something that, you know, union, you know, supporters of the, the, the union, either with Scotland or Northern Ireland, are going to struggle with, is that if you have one set of rules for part of the UK and another set of rules for a different part, so for example, if Scotland is in the single market and uh, England isn't, then suddenly, you know, you're creating frictions to doing trade between England and Scotland. Um, and, you know, potentially you might even have to have border checks uh, in the north of England along the English-Scottish uh, mm. border. So, you know, you can always have different rules for different parts of the countries. But then there's the question of, you know, how do we deal with the fact that uh, producers in England satisfy one set of regulations or pay, you know, one set of tariffs on imports. Mm. Producers in Scotland do um, another. How do we, you know, how do we do that and avoid a border between England and Scotland? And you can't. Really, so there's a kind of, there's a cost of having that kind of solution. Mm. 